Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 17 of our Let's Play series of Grounded. As you can see, it's another gorgeous morning in the garden here. Join the rear view. Baseball there. So at the end of the last episode, we finally got all our armor stands populated. I have oh, got the ladybug armor on. Can't really see it like that, I guess. So I'm all, all armored up with my new badass ladybug armor. Today I want to start trying to wrap up some of the end of the content. Because I think I'm nearly there now. I've done a little bit of exploring and rummaging about off camera to save on the editing and the boredom. Um, I found a couple of sneaky caves and, and sneaky bits that I want to show you guys. I also want to get these missions done for Burgle. Go up to see Burgle and trade in some by science. Because we've got nearly 7,500 science here. So I know I can probably get the upgraded canteen. And maybe something else. Maybe some more um, recipes for something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, a little bit of exploring, a little bit of burger, a little bit of missions, and I've, I've done a bit of googling, because there's some items that I either didn't know about, I didn't know how to get. So one of the things I'm absolutely gagging to do is to build these brat burst bombs, and I want to blow up some spiders with them. But I need these ant eggs, and I've not seen them at all. I've been down into the ant hill a couple of times, not found any eggs, uh, not at all. Um, so I had to do some googling. Good old Steve at Nooblitz revealed that you've got to kill some ants. And if you kill enough ants up above ground, or I guess below ground, uh, some of the ants down there will lay some eggs. So I've got to go on a bit of an ant killing massacre. Kill a load of ants, go down the ant hill, pick up some eggs. And I've also found out through Google, uh, some cheeky YouTubing, that there's some more bee armour down in that ant hill as well. So I've kind of spotted those locations. That was courtesy of Slip Gators and Arson Slip. So the plan is, guys, I'm going to make my way off to Burgle. On the way, I'm going to go via this Fallen Oak branch. And I did another little looking about earlier, and I found out where the trail marker is on that Fallen Oak branch. I did try and find it yesterday, but couldn't. Uh, it was a little dark, but that really wasn't why I didn't find it. I just didn't look hard enough. So I'll meet you when I'm back at that Fallen Oak branch. Okay, here we are, guys. I made it to the Fallen Oak branch. It's only a short little distance from the base. And here it is on the map. Oh, see, I was here yesterday, and you saw me have a little run up and down this branch. I couldn't find the trail marker at all. And it's partly because I didn't really look hard enough, and partly because it's out of render distance. So I've got all the materials I need, and it's up at the end of this branch here. As you can see, you still can't see it. Get close enough, and there it is. Pops into view. Cool. That's another marker done. We'll give it a leaf because it's a tree. Okay, so the next sneaky bit I want to show you guys is actually in this water around here somewhere. So let's see if I can find it straight away. So this is the spot that I generally found on my own earlier. I didn't uh, do any cheeky YouTubing for this one. Okay, so here's the yoked girth head. And a scary spider cave. Pretty sure it was in this bit of water around here somewhere. There we go. Let's get our breath back. Um, it does get dark down here, so I've got my torch. There be light. Let there be light. Ooh. Let's try that again. So I didn't realise until early that you can actually sprint underwater, which is quite handy. It's quite a scary one, this, because you're going in quite deep. But I have already checked it out, so I know there's an air pocket on the other side. And I was doing this for the first time this morning, it was a little bit unnerving. Here we go, so we've got ourselves into a little cavern here. There's nothing back there. Come into this little cave. At first sight, you just think, oh, so what? It's a clover. Check it out. It's a four leaf clover. I'm guessing now the light's shining down on it, like some holy beacon. It's probably the only four leaf clover you're going to find on the map. Now, I've had a little look around. I can't see anything anywhere. Nothing in the nooks and crannies. And you can't seem to harvest this with anything. It does give you a left mouse click sort of um, prompt there, but. 
no tool, no tool would chop it. And if it if it required a tool, it'd have a picture of the tool anyway. Uh, I've even tried doing it. Let's uh, unequip that. Just punching. It doesn't even work for that. Power of Helion, champion of the sun. So what I'm gonna do now is make my way back out of this uh, puddly cave, and I'm gonna slowly progress up to Burgle. I'm gonna hope to find a couple of gnats along the way. I'll save you all the boredom of me just running around chasing gnats. So I'll cut back one of the burgle and see what goodies I'm going to buy. Here we go, guys. I've made it up to burgle. I found a couple of gnats along the way. Didn't actually take too long, which is quite cool. I thought I was going to be searching for gnats for hours. Uh, okay, so for starters, let's get some more missions off them. Oh, I can only get one, though. Okay, I mean, it's analyzing ant egg. Okay, well that's quite convenient, isn't it? So I'll have that. And then I also want to trade in some of the science. So we've got lots. Um, so I do think I'm going to go for the canteen upgrade, because that's going to be quite handy. So I'm definitely going to buy that. And that leaves me just over two and a half round. So, obviously you can't afford that one. Could do that one. But I don't use eye patches anyway. So I think I'm going to go for the Scabby Scanner Scabs. Which I think might be quite handy, because Scabby Scanners quite often seem to be in sneaky, secretly type places. So if my Scabby Scanner picks up more Scabbies, then hopefully I might reveal the location of some more sneaky spots. Okay, so rather than just busting them out of here and clipping them back down to base, something else I've kind of been trying to do. Uh, not trying to do, kind of wanting to do since day one, was to explore this cave a little bit more. And when I originally went in the ant hill, I was quite adamant. That, oh, there we go. Scabby Scanner's already doing its bit. Okay, so we're right on top of it here, apparently. There's a chick is not around this corner. I'm actually going to just put the torch down for a second so I can see it flashing. My mom always says I light up a room. So hopefully it's down here somewhere. I do know there's some big ants. Oh, there we go. Scabby's here. What's going on with these guys? They're just chilling. Okay. Let's take that out of them. I'm really keen to see where this cave leads to. Assuming it does lead to somewhere and it's not just... Empty cave with some big ass ants in there. Fiat Luke. Cool. It's been dealt with. Keep my eye out for any sneaky bits. What's that torch doing? Yeah, torch is still okay for a bit. Oh, this is a bit of a bit open in here. Another ant. He's pretty stuck. It's cool. Yep, he's definitely stuck. Let's see what's up here first. You can hear stuff creeping about outside. That's a bit freaky. Definitely know there's no scabbies about. So otherwise, they'll be getting blipped. Well, oh, sorry about that poor guy down there. I'm just going to leave him. Can't do me no harm. still. I thought we were going to be a little bit further away though. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to base now. It looks like it's getting dark anyway. I've got a little bit of meat. I think I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of gnats. got an aphid here so I can get some gel on the go as well when I get back to base. So I'll see you when I'm back there, guys. Here you go, peeps. I've made it back to base. So I'm going to get all my meats going on the jerky spit here. Sort out the little bits in my inventory, clear it all out, get ready for the bedtime, and I'll catch up with you all in the morning. 
Good morning. Good morning. Right, we're getting through our to-do list. Oh, let's turn that off now. It's a bit bright. So, before we go do anything else, I want to see what the score is with this canteen. So, I just got that canteen upgrade. What is it going to be? Is it utilities? Uh, Helping stack canteen plus. So, do I have to just make another one? Or is the one I've already got, pardon me, already upgraded? So, what's it say? This is a pouch made from grub hard. You can use to carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slip. So what makes it any... I was pretty sure when I got the upgrade there, it said it was going to carry three scoops or carry more. So, we've already got this full, so let's drink it. So let's see how many scoops we can get. One, two... Yeah, canteen's full. Okay, well let's see if I can make a canteen plus and whether that works any differently. So what does that want from us? Where is it? Is it you? Utilities, health and snacks. Free grub hide, two woven fibre. Okay. Oh, I've only got two grub hide. Okay, so we'll have to get some more grubs at some point. I'll have to keep an eye out for grubs on our travels then, I guess. Because I don't want to go off just for grubs right now. In fact, I will. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to go find some grubs. I'll be back. Power of editing will only take five seconds anyway. That's what we've got. Grub hide, two woven fibre. So let's pick up one more hide. We've already got a little bit of woven fibre there, so that's cool. Alright. Um, yeah, let's craft and equip. So this is our canteen plus. It still does just say you used to carry two scoops. So I don't know what is better about this. Let's have a look. One scoop. Two scoop. There we go, it does do free scoops. It just doesn't tell you it does. That's pretty cool. So that's our canteen plus. Let's get that on there. Oh, can Ah, uh, that's the other one. Okay, that's all right, I'll get you. Right, let's get our bits of meat. Can hang some more now. So that's our grubs. I think we'll stick a couple of these bits of jerky in here. There's the other one. I've cooked that. I've actually stacked, so we'll keep that. Right, I'm going to sort my inventory out and I'm going to get ready for the next stage. Right, I'm all done now, guys. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna make my way towards this ant hill that's around the back. Well, I've been shut. And there's normally some ants nearby. So we'll just murder some ants and then we're gonna go down into the ant hill and see if we can't find ourselves some ant eggs and make some bombs to blow spiders up with. <laughs> right, here we go. Ant hill this direction. Now I think I've already prepared myself. Yep, I've already put my ant armor on. Uh, so hopefully I won't get attacked by the ants randomly in the ant nest. Now there's normally a load on the outside here. Let's have a look. Here we go. So there's normally some about somewhere. You got a cheeky nibbling on the side, didn't you? So that's two ants killed. Are there any more around here, lost in here? One more in the ditch. Oh, I wonder if I've killed enough ants. Let's go and have a look. Our torch looks like it's got enough on it. We won't turn it on until we really need it, though. There's some around here, I think. Helion, champion of the sun. Uh, let's just kill some more. Okay, 
Okay, so that's four ants killed. Oh! God, he's got a good one on us. You're feisty, mate. Right, any more cheeky ones behind me? No. Well, let's get a quick bandage on before I forget. Cool, well, that's an extra ant dead, so hopefully some eggs will get laid down here. Now, I also know, I don't know whether I mentioned it earlier, but I did miss some armour for the first time when I was down here. Uh, I watched a slip gator video. There's a full set of rotten bee armour down here. So I've also got to try and find all that. Alright, so I think we've killed enough for now. But hopefully something should start happening soon. I think I've got to get to, like, the main nesty area. Oh, we've got a scabby. Scabby nearby. This way. Oh, that's that. That's another set. There we go. Rotten bee face mask. Brilliant. Is that a scabby was picking up? No, it's down this way. Getting greener. Yeah, it's getting greener. What's that there? No, <laughs> that's nothing. Right, well I'm almost on top of it apparently. Shall we have a quick... See if there's anything flashing at us. No, not what I can see. Oh, My mom always right says I light up a room. So I think the other bit of bee armor is in here. Here we go. Bones are up here. Thank you, Slip Gator. Now apparently, this is where the ant eggs get laid. I wonder if I've got to give it more time. Alright, whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. See if I can find the scabby. There we go, I've walked straight over it. Neo move. Okay, let's check that one out. I'm not switching between these now. Oh, that's a bit more chilled out, a little bit more subtle. Let's see if there's any eggs yet. Nope. So I think I'm just going to loiter down here, guys. I'm just going to hang around till hopefully the magic happens and some eggs pop up. I'll uh, I'll cut back with you when it actually happens. Well, I've cut back in here, guys. I'm uh, I gave up on sitting in that ant hill. I was sat in there for ages and nothing was happening. So I'm out on the mission trying to find ants to kill. I've killed loads of soldier ants, but we don't seem to be laying eggs. So I'm I'm looking for worker ants. I'm doing the lap of the map, and I've just got my scabby scanner shouting at me. I think there's another scabby about somewhere. There we go. Hot dog horror. Ooh. There's like ketchup and mustard. There's in the other. Right, okay, so that battle was that. Sorry, short and sweet. I'm going to carry on trying to find ants. Okay, guys, I found some ants. I've made a small ant massacre. Alright, so I'm going to retrieve my arrows here. I'm going to run back to the ant hill and I hope that some eggs have finally start getting laid. Alright, what's going on then? Have we got any eggs yet? No? Nope. Yeah. I'm going to have to carry on ant hunting for a bit then. Back in a bit. Here we go guys, this is another one of the sneaky bits I found earlier on when I was doing my exploring. 
So at the moment I'm trying to find ants. I think my ant hill's bugged. I've got to kill worker ants for every spawn. So I'm missioning all around the map looking for ants. So whilst I was in this area, I'll show you this little door. So that's the rake rock. This is like the stink buggy area. I've gone deep into there. I think this is like a, a picnic bench or something here. Um, I can't quite see it. It's behind there. It's another secret door. It's one you can't get in. Oh crap. That's close. It's another one you can't get in. So it's got a... Pardon me. It's going to have to remain a mystery for now. But I thought I'd cut back in and just show you guys that. So I'm going to continue my hunt for ants. Oh, I've been killing ants for days now. Let's see if there's any ants in the nest yet. Oh, hallelujah. Look at that. That is a sight I've been waiting for. Finally got eggs. I've got... 19 of them. That's, that's going to be enough for a lot of bombs. We're going to get some bombs. We're going to blow some spiders up. See you back at base and after we've had a little bit of sleep. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hopefully, today is going to be a spider bombing day. Right, I'll tell you what, I've got to get rid of this hot dog horror. That's a bit too much. What one I haven't tried yet? Gun metal? bit grey and drab but we'll rock that for a bit so workbench tools brat burst we need fungal growth and eggs and dry grass chunks so i know we've got these fungal growth bits is that that yep fungal growth is that the same dry grass i don't think we have much of that yeah, we've only got five we might have to go get some more dry grass so i want to be able to make a couple of these bombs really So I don't know how many it's going to take to the spider. Uh, as you can also see, on my journeys, I went to see a uh, burgle again. And I picked up a couple more missions. So I've now got a full suite of missions for burgle. Oh, and one of them is Analyze the Ant Egg, isn't it? So let's go and do that quick before I get distracted again. Let's see what the old lab has for us. Tripwire bomb. Oh, interesting. I was kind of secretly hoping it might have been a basketball. So we've got a recipe for a basketball hoop, but no ball as far as I'm aware. Alright, let's make some bombs. Blow some spiders up. Equipment tool, brat burst, craft, craft. Three. Shall I go and get some more dry grass chunks? How many more? Um, I've got 20 eggs still, 14 parts. Yeah, let's get some more dry grass. bad boys up then. Okay, so let's put these things back away and then we'll get our bombs, get them in our hot bar and we're going to go kick some spider butt. Right, here we are guys, I'm up cave I was talking about. I was quite right, zip the bottom for rake rock there, just in case there it is on the map. Now, I know there's a little drop through hole there with some science in. I'm pretty sure this cave here is going to be the way in and out. Well, obviously, apart from the hole, but you're not going to be able to get out of that hole. So, let's go and chop this mite up before it bothers us. Let's hope this bomb does the business. So, I'm going to chuck one and run. Cool. It didn't do much damage. It's just a... Go on, 
habits. Well, that seems to be hardly doing anything to me. Oh, here we go. Well, harvesting all those ant eggs was worthwhile, wasn't it? Six bombs and it's taken him down to like half health. That's absolute pathetic. Never jumped before. What? It just bit me through the bloody rock. Bite me through the rock. And now he's just a bit on. When have they been able to jump up like that? Since when have they been able to eat you through bloody rocks? Oh my days. Right, I'm gonna go back to my stuff, try getting killed. Okay, so I'm back to my stuff, guys. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna kill this spider. It can just jump. I don't really stand a chance in hell. Let's see if I'm kiting around the other side of this rock. Oh. Okay, let's hope he stays here. And then hopefully we can actually get in this cave. Yeah. Unless something else comes along to halt my progress. By the power of Helion, champion of the sun. How much do I want to bet there's gonna be another spider in here somewhere? Rubs down it, which is a little odd. Okay, so I guess is that the hole? I guess it took a hole. I guess a different hole. Got an ant egg. What is that? Whoa! That's like full size human skeleton. Oh, that is a bit freaky. Dead body in the garden. Oh, I 
Okay, I'll be um the answer just chilling out though. Very right, good time. Oh they're stuck in the web tree. Try for him. There we go guys. Be free. So, whilst I'm here, let's just double check there's no sneakiness. So I don't think there is. So was scabby be bleeping at me for something. Well, I guess I've got to drop through that hole from the top to get my science. So let's go back up. I hope there isn't a spider spawn back up by now. That'd be just wonderful. No, we're alright at the moment. Well, I imagine it won't be long, so let's try and get this done. Oh, there we go. Mysteries of the Sneaky Spider Cave. All revealed. Dead body in the garden. Now I'm going to go back to base, guys. I am going to go via the mint box. Uh, I want to get these mints. So I'll catch you when I'm there. Here we go, guys. I've made it to the ice mints container. It's right near my base. My base is just here. This is where it is on the map. So I've seen on a few different videos now. But you can just batter your way in through here, batter the lid open. You need to get your tier 2 hammer out and lay waste of these mint chunks. Is that doing anything? Oh, there we go. Sounds a bit better, doesn't it? And you see now we're now harvesting mint chunks. Hold on, let's just have a quick nibble. So, whilst we're here, be rude not to. Get in and try and get some more. Cool. And then apparently you got to do a little bum wiggle reverse jobby out. Yeah, there we go. Freedom. Hello, Mr. Ant. Right, so with that, we can now make what is apparently the most powerful weapon in the game. So let's see. We're bound to need something else. Workbench tools. And we can already do the insect bow. Here we go, down here. Mint mallets. So we've got plenty of mint chunks. We need three spider silk and eight flower petals. Oh, hey, 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 hey. We've actually got what we need. Craft and equip that bad boy. Here we go. Mint mallet. What's description? Giant hammer crafted from a chunk of ice caps breath mints. Deals patented mouth town fresh damage on hit. All oh, right. Well, we've got to go find something to beat in the submission now, haven't we? All right. I think there was a whole pile of ants over here. Well, there's a little weevil. I'm sure it's not going to last long. Oh, that's one hit. Brilliant. What are these little ants going to be like? Oh, I've knocked them both out in one hit. Wow, that's pretty cool. Right, so, let's be super brave and stupid. Let's go find a spider. Let's just take a, a spider on in hand-to-hand -hand combat and see if we can do one. And I think if we can do that, I will feel like the ultimate badass. Here we go, here we go. Come on, all breather.
<laughs> yeah, suck on that. I'm even going to... Yeah, have a bit of tea bag. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I can do you as well. Come on. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. All the spiders are dead. Yes. Awesome. Right, well there we have it guys. The mint mallet is definitely a beast. I wonder if we can crack this shell over here. Nah, still not. Right, well there we go. I'm going to wrap it there. That was awesome. In fact, I'm going to die soon. Let's go and quickly get some punch show. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh. Awesome. Give it all to me. Right, there we have it guys. I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Um, with the power of editing, I'm sure it's only going to be about a half hour long. This was nearly four hours for me, so please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment, would be great. Um, stay tuned for the next one, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. <laughs>